It's our area's most in-depth geeky weather forecast video on this Thursday evening. It's Weather for Weather Geeks on August the 10th, 2023. Uh, we have a pretty active August pattern. By August standards, this is kind of a busy period. Uh, August typically is not quite as busy in the weather department as earlier in the spring and summer. The jet stream at this time of the year is typically far to the north. And while we see occasional thunderstorms, it tends to be kind of the wind down phase, if you will, of the uh, severe weather season across our part of the country. Now, we haven't had much severe weather yet this season, uh, but we've got a couple of opportunities coming up for the weekend and early next week. Before we get to all that, it's Thursday, so we did get an update on the uh, drought monitor product today. And boy, not much real estate left in eastern Ohio and western PA in the abnormally dry category. And don't forget, it wasn't that long ago, of course that a lot of our area was covered in an abnormally dry and, and moderate drought designation. In fact, we had moderate drought in over half of our area just a few weeks ago. Um, but now no one's in a moderate drought in our TV viewing area, and just a sliver of the area is now designated as abnormally dry. So things have really improved in the rain department over the last handful of weeks after a very slow start to the uh, growing season in terms of wet weather from April through early on in July. Even in the areas that uh, had a really slow start and didn't see as much rain as others, and I mean mostly western Mahoning County, western Columbiana County. Even in those places, we've done quite a bit better over the last couple of weeks. A couple of bad readings on our rain gauge network here this evening, but you can see that with our showers and storms that we had overnight last night, we had a couple of, uh, you know, pretty hefty downpours. This stands out a little bit as maybe a little dubious, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, where a local downpour occurred near this rain gauge near uh, New Middletown, we had over an inch worth of rain. Uh, 0.62 down towards uh, Calcutta, just north of East Liverpool. In downtown Youngstown, up on the roof here at WFMJ, almost a half an inch worth of rain. And generally about a half an inch to uh, 0.6 was pretty common as far as a, a region-wide average. These were some loud storms in the middle of the night last night with frequent thunder and lightning. 81 the high today locally, 77 up in Erie, 82 in Cleveland, and 81 in Pittsburgh. Just a pretty standard issue early August day today once we lost the... Uh, showers this morning. It looks like our camera in Boardman is down, so we'll skip past that, but it's going to show you what a nice looking evening it is. That being said, we're going to keep an eye on the radar for a time this evening because uh, showers have been uh, lining up along a secondary cool front, and a couple of these showers are sneaking down into our area as of this recording. It is 7.15 when I'm recording this, and we had a shower uh, near the Warren area up towards the fairgrounds uh, in Trumbull County. We also have a couple of showers coming through the Cleveland area as of this recording. We've had some thunder and lightning up over the lake, and earlier on this afternoon we had some thunderstorms over Erie County, PA. Uh, passing shower, small chance of thunder in our evening forecast, and then we will dry things out for a lot of the overnight. Have you seen some of the uh, unfortunate uh, pictures and video? Remarkable, actually, from Hawaii. Not a place you typically think of as a wildfire hotspot, but there are wildfires occasionally in Hawaii, and these were particularly bad, and unfortunately we've seen a few dozen fatalities and some real horror stories. You know, people jumping in the ocean to get away from the flames, and just real devastation in a couple of spots on the Hawaiian island chain. The uh, meteorological setup for this, a little unusual. It's been a little bit drier than average of late, and by August standards, we have a very stout area of high pressure. That's this circular area up here. And then we have Hurricane Dora to the southwest of the islands. The flow around high pressure in the northern hemisphere clockwise, counterclockwise flow around low pressure. And this has set up a pretty good pressure gradient across Hawaii. And that means wind. And this wind direction in particular can be a problem because of the terrain over Hawaii. If you've been to Hawaii, you know how mountainous it is. These are actually volcanoes. Um, and especially on the Big Island, I mean, these are enormous peaks. And when you have the wind hitting those peaks, it has to go up at first, and then it comes back down. That's a downsloping wind that dries the air out, the humidity drops, and when the wind gets to the other side of the mountain, it can, you know, have air parcels in it that are very dry compared to the lee side uh, of the uh, of the or the other side, I should say, of the uh, of the mountain chain, and so it's a perfect recipe for unfortunately a rough couple of days. Now things are going to improve from here on out, but it's been a rough couple of days in paradise in Hawaii, that is for sure. Back here at home, a fine Friday on the way, a partly to mostly sunny sky for our Friday. Now some of the modeling suggests that maybe as early as early evening there might be a renegade shower or storm. We're going to keep a dry forecast through the daylight hours for now. I think there's a better chance of a shower and thunderstorm just after sunset into the overnight. And then an inter interesting setup for Saturday. 
All right, so a shower and thunderstorm will be a possibility early. Then I think we're going to get into a good deal of sun for the rest of the daylight hours. Now, this is a pretty good recipe for some strong to severe thunderstorms across the area. We're going to have sunshine for a lot of the day. In the wake of this warm front, the dew points are going to come up. It's going to be a very moist and warm air mass, well up into the 80s, Saturday afternoon. At the same time, low pressure moving across the lower Great Lakes will help provide wind energy aloft, especially. Uh, a lot of wind shear with this. And so, a uh, couple questions though. Will the clouds get out of the way enough um, to get us into full sunshine for several hours? Will those early morning showers and storms do anything to stabilize the atmosphere enough to prevent some sort of uh, severe weather episode in the afternoon? Those are questions you know we don't know the answers to just yet, but the potential will be there if we can clear out and get a good deal of sun going. Uh, the potential will be there for strong to severe thunderstorms to erupt. Now, this is the latest run of uh, what we call our in-house model. Uh, it's actually called the Graph. It's a product by IBM, um, the company that uh, is our kind of our, our vendor for our, our weather graphics products. Um, it suggests that most of the thunderstorms blow up just to our east, but this doesn't, uh, you know, jive with some of the other high-res convection allowing modeling for Saturday, which has the thunderstorm activity farther to the west and closer to our area. So we're not going to take this model verbatim. We're going to look at a lot of models, as we often do when we have impactful weather or potentially impactful weather. Bottom line is the potential will be there for a bumpy period for a few hours late in the afternoon, early in the evening on Saturday. This front rolls through and things will be quiet for one day on Sunday, but thunderstorms could return on Monday. So the window is probably something like 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. With today's uh, issuance of the day three outlook, from the Storm Prediction Center, SPC. Uh, they did have our TV viewing area outlined in the low level one risk of severe weather. Wouldn't be surprised tonight when this becomes the day two outlook at about one o'clock in the morning um, if we're bumped up a category up into the slight risk. Um, I, I think that's a pretty stout, you know, set of ingredients. It's just a matter, you know, you have the ingredients for a cake. Are you actually gonna bake that cake or are you just gonna have the ingredients and they don't really turn out to be anything? That's something, you know, 48 hours in advance, we don't have a good answer to just yet, but we do know that there is potential for some nasty weather by the end of the day on Saturday. Hourly breakdown of those rain chances for the weekend, zeros across the board on Sunday, but Saturday things again peak probably between 4 and 8 p.m. Stay weather aware, make sure you have the Storm Tracker 21 app downloaded, and we'll keep you up to date in future editions, of course, of this video and all of our other products and newscasts as well. Otherwise, the weekend forecast looks like this, 86 on Saturday, steamy day. 82 on Sunday. This will be a fine August day, a good pool day, lower 80s, sunshine, patchy clouds. The humidity uh, is going to be high through early next week. And with this bump back up in dew points on Monday and another system cruising through the lower Great Lakes, we could have another pretty active afternoon on Monday with chances of showers and perhaps some strong to severe thunderstorms. Let's take it one at a time. We'll worry about Saturday for now, but just know that uh, Monday afternoon could be a little bit bumpy. I think things will be calmer by midweek. And actually, a little on the cool side on Tuesday, with high temperatures no better than the mid-70s. So, we got a lot on our plate next few days. Again, we'll uh, have frequent updates on the Saturday situation. Then once we get through that, we'll talk more about what uh, may unfold on Monday. Thank you for watching Weather for Weather Geeks on this Thursday evening. I'll see you back here on Friday at the same time.